Here we go. We have an unboxing. As you guys know, Ringside Collectibles, we have the brand new Ultimate Edition Bobby Lashley, Kurt Angle, and for the very first time ever, you guys, Bobby Lashley coming out here, standing at six foot three, all the shenanigans, even on the side of the packaging. Look at that. The look you make when you've ordered Bobby Lashley using discount code HERO. If you guys want to pick this up, hit the link in the description below because these are standing pretty damn firm. Look at that. We even got the side plates on the title. Bobby Lashley introducing a brand new torso and all that good stuff you guys love. Plus some. And what do I mean by some? Well, check this out. Lashley's got a little bonus and we're going to go ahead and get it out. We're going to unbox all of these. So you guys got to let me know in the comments. Out of these three, who is your favorite? Is it the crying Olympic gold medalist? Or maybe Bianca Belair is going to show Kurt Angle how she won the Olympic gold medals. That is correct, you guys. Kurt Angle, he is not the only Olympic champion in WWE today. We're going to find out about the other. Is it true, though? Did she win that? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Bianca Belair, how do you feel about it? WHF, I'm going to tell you, if you're going to put me up right here with them gold titles, bring me in and let's call it a day. Because even for the first time right here, Bianca Belair is sporting a brand new gear. Plus, the fact that we got it in UE, bro, that's a dub in and of itself, man. Let's get these out of the box. Bobby Lashley, set that pose, buddy. Yay! We have all three figures out of the packaging, and Bobby Lashley quite potentially might lean right here as one of the best, but that still has yet to be determined because Bianca Belair, she's bringing a lot of goods. Angle, yeah, we can talk about that torso right now. We need to talk about the almighty because if you guys have been on the channel long enough, you guys know how long we've been waiting for this figure to come. We actually made our own version of it. We made one using, though, the Seuss. This one was based off the SDCC torso, which in its own right, I feel like it should bring some competition. I guess it also depends on what era you're talking about, whether you're talking about younger or later. Right now, we do have a torso that's very similar to Triple H, and I am going to take off the shirt. That way, you guys can get a close look. Now, in Interchanging head scans. We got the screaming one, which obviously it's got to be probably my favorite one. We have plain Jane over here wondering why the crap did Bobby Lashley take this damn long to be released in this series? Makes no sense. But today we're going to find out if the wait was well worth it, man. I love the scans. As a matter of fact, this, the hands themselves, you guys, they're bringing their own touch because it's kind of vice versa. So we got Mike open on the figure itself, and then we got closed fist that it is going to get the a wrist strap right there on the right and it is just painted none of this is actually like sculpted or tooled which i feel like if it is ultimate edition we should already be there man like where are we waiting i feel like that's got to be one of the next upgrades right there that we got to see in the ultimate edition series as far as the championship here it is the United States Championship with the very first Bobby Lashley side plates right there. I know they've done it for the actual main WWE title, but the United States Championship title. This one, actually, no, take that back. I think this is the second release of this belt. Nonetheless, pretty nice that they haven't implemented the WWE logos right outside the strap. So really nice. Comes together right there through the back end. And bada boom, we got Bobby Lashley and the almighty unleashing all that heat. Look at this, man. This shirt, oh yeah, they did us wrong. He's like, yeah, we got Ultimate Edition. But that doesn't mean that we're going to give you the slip. I know this is based on Valkyrie, which they're always kind of going back and forth. I feel like at this point, if it is UE, given the factor that we do have the interchanging options with the arms, that's just got to be something that we got to do moving forward. I do like the overall logo up front. I feel like the yellow, it's definitely bringing a little touch right there. And I feel like this torso could do this man justice once we put him side by side with that custom Ruthless aggression let's bring him up you guys so here is the ruthless aggression torso here is the triple h torso and i'm going to call it that you guys because i feel like out of every single ultimate edition the man that has represented that look properly it's got to be this lad so i do like that i feel like the screaming scan is going to do guys wonders man we got to do some fix-ups turn on that notification bell because bobby lashley the almighty 
He's wondering why the hell is this one sitting so damn high up? And I'm telling you, bro, I might have to shade this down because I literally pushed it all the way down. There you go. I think that looks a little bit better. So it's not sitting as high. But nonetheless, let's check out the other looks because he's got some serious looks that he's got to deliver in this video unboxing. Look at that. He is mad. He's like, yeah, Bobby Lashley right here in the Ultimate Edition. And you know what? He ain't got no damn hair. He never did have hair here, figs. If he did, they would have never represented that in the figure. Now, right here, this is kind of like him winning the belt. He's like, yeah, bro, I am the United States Champion of America. So you might as well bring that red, white, and blue straight to Ohio. Because this man right here, he's wondering what the hell he's doing in Ohio. He's like, I don't know, Hero Figs. feel like that torso is definitely leveling that up in its own right. Look at the tattoo. On the left shoulder, we actually have the tattoo located right there. It does connect right there by the bicep region. We got double pinless elbows. And we got wrist straps that are still painted on. What the crap, bro? I'm telling you. They got to do it up. AEW Jazzwares has been doing it up for a good while. And I feel like it's time right here that the almighty or really any other superstar that could be brought up right here in the near future, they got to start tooling that, bro. I feel like we're way past that. Now, it does have the drop down hips. So you can actually pop it low, pop it high, and you can also pop them off because it is on ball hips. So for those that were wondering if you want to do maybe like early stages and all you got to do is swap it right there at the hips. Again, some of these don't necessarily require torso crack. What I want to find out though is this torso, it's got to get cracked open. That way we got to find out if the new style has been implemented with this torso or is it still based off the old Triple H Ultimate Edition? We don't know, but we're going to find that out because I got to order a couple of these, you guys. I feel like this torso is going to suit me real good right there for multiple different figures. Right there on the boot skis, we got the highlighted red with the highlighted yellow mixing in on the outside as well as on the inside of the boots. And then we got that toe articulation. Bro, Bobby Lashley is going to be a clear 9.8. This figure stands so damn good. As much as I love this one, I feel like this one... And in its own right for the time and era it's gonna do that man good now let's get kurt angle we're gonna play the music you suck you suck or do we or does mattel stepped up here with all of these interchanging head scans so we got regular plain hamburger this has no cheese this is straight butter he's like bro where's my damn boy guy he's like dude Chill the crap out, bro. Otherwise, he's not going to inter-swap us. I'm going to inter-swap these, obviously. We have to find out how they actually look on the figure. The interchanging hands that we are going to have, the one on the figure, are going to be the mic open. And then we got full-on open for the big slappy across the chest. No, I'm kidding. We got different options. Here's the closed fist. And here are the Olympic gold medals. Now, we do have an elite based off this era. This one right here, probably one of my favorite gears. And I feel like this, if they are going to redo the molding right there on the actual torso moving forward, this would be a nice gear to bring that to. Obviously, different time, right? We got European and Intercontinental Champion. But these head scans, I think they're going to do justice to this man. He's like, yeah. You are just about as tall as me, except I'm ultimate, bro. I got butterfly. I got, what else we got? We got butter. We got double pinless. And we got that damn oversized torso that I can't necessarily sit here and agree that I like it, man. Now, as far as the actual gold medals, the reason why this smell went through hell and high water is because he needed to win these. Now, the straps are actually going to be based off a different time. We got the red, white, and blue. This one was the solid green. That was kind of the very first introduction of it all. But nonetheless, here it is. The, all the gold and all the glamour. And yet, even for the old belts, and I don't know if they could do it. Let me know, Mattel. Uh, can you guys do it moving forward for this time and era as well, where we get the actual plated like name logo right there on the man that's carrying the belt? I just want to throw that out there. I feel like that would be a nice little upgrade. And then you could celebrate right there with Kurt freaking Angle. Look at that. He's crying. He's like, I love it, you guys. This head scan, bro. I think, actually, you know what? Take it back. I think this is the very first time that Mattel is actually releasing a closed eye look with it. And I could be wrong. I know there were several different like streaming scans that had a full on open mouth, but I do believe those eyes were closed, bro. This one, yeah, I love it. Now let's check out the other ones, you guys, because there is several different ones that we got to play around with. There are actually quite a bit of different ones. Here's the regular plain hamburger. He's like, yeah, Kurt Angle, Olympic gold medalist on the weekend, and then he's doing the dirty job Monday through Friday. And what is the dirty job? Well, I can't tell you, bro. I mean, if 
I were to give you all the secrets of these superstars, you might not be following it. Why is this head scan not going in there? Oh my gosh, you guys, we have a serious problem. I feel like Mattel Bosch said he's like, yeah, you want that good grin look? You're going to have to fight for it. <laughs> I like this one, but at the end of the day, it's got to be that crying, screaming one. And I think this one was just as difficult to slap it on. There's the hair. You know what? The hair in and of itself, I feel like it's just kind of like slapped down there. I know he didn't have much hair going on during this time, but at least do the man right, right? So we got blue elbow pads. We got the actual singlet. It is fabric material, which, you know what? I feel like the logo, I don't know how you guys are coming through. And keep in mind, based on what they did and when it comes down to like making the actual figure in the final product, they're interchanging like discussion conversations between like 15 people across the sea. So if you guys are wondering what some of those botches and how it's sitting, that's probably the reason why, bro. I can't be taking too much away from them. These blue knee pads, never seen them before. Matter of fact, this is the very first time that Mattel is bringing this style of look, at least for like the type of material. Once you actually get it in hand, you're going to be able to see where I'm standing at right there with the actual knee pads. The boots, solid red with the white straps and that toe articulation. Let's take off the singlet though, you guys, because I know you guys want to see what the goods are underneath and you know what we're going to do we're actually going to pop off the right arm bam olympic gold medalist right there at its finest and i don't want to pop it off all the way because keep in mind some of the times that he did celebrate the actual thing was just a cross right there so i don't want to do like a full-on we will take it off completely but there it is that's kind of what he's about to do right before he slaps you into that ankle lock tap buddy tap he ain't tapping and if he does tap then he ain't no damn olympic big gold medalist so this right here you just got to flap it down and there you have it now the cool thing when you do remove this completely you will actually get a singlet design underneath it and I don't know, man, like this just looks wrong. Like this is when you truly see the Botch City Central with this damn torso. Like, sure, go ahead and bring all the details on the actual tights in and of it of themselves. But as far as when the figure sits on there, it just doesn't look right. Like Kurt Angle was ripped. There is no doubt in my mind that he had like a whole six pack going out. But the circumference of the chest, bro, that right there, sir, you're going to have me crying like this for you. Look at this. The look you make when you got Kurt Angle in the wrong freaking torso. Come on, Mattel. Level up on that freaking singlet. Cannot wait to see if they end up redoing right here this man in the UE. We got the back tat and we got that butterfly joints continuing through. So, again, some downfalls. And this is going to sit at a 7-3 mainly due to the torso. Like, we got some great stuff with the head scans that we can do, and we actually already made our own version of the Ultimate. So for that, you're going to definitely have to stay tuned because we need to check out what Bianca Belair is going to do for the wrap-up video. Now, I feel like the Jackie, you guys, this was an absolute necessary piece, and I don't want to destroy this. I'm going to be as nice and pleasant as possible, but at the end of the damn day, I feel like we already got an Ultimate Edition. Like, you bring this one over here, he's like, what are you talking about, bro? This is part of the regular Elite line. Yeah, but keep in mind, she's got toe articulation. Really, the only difference between articulation points from the left over to the right is that the actual figure does have double pinless. There is no butterfly joints, as you can see. And that's what I mean about them bringing this jacket right here as an absolute necessary piece to go ahead and cover that, bro, because that's wrong. Like, last I checked, Ultimate Edition means ultimate, bro. You're playing the Supreme line, so you got to pay the Supreme fig. The jacket, though, this is thing of beauty. I love it. We got the interchanging scan right there with the plain cheeseburger. And I'm telling you, bro, I'm going to go ahead and do the Mickey D's every time we're talking about them plain cheeseburgers because we love them. Now, the earrings, you're going to get multiple ones. So here's one that you actually can slap on, whether you want to do it on this head scan or the one that's on the figure. The last piece that I want to talk about is actually going to be the glasses. They are fully removable. And I feel like the translucent plastic, it's working really well. Once you pull them off, you can see Bianca Belair. She's like... That is not the last accessory, Hero Figs. What is wrong with you? Now, and she's right. You can actually slap off the little bow. Look at that. You can slap it off, slap it on. This actually kind of looks like a baby bed, bro. Like, you could probably put that on one of your babies and be like, wah, Bianca Belair don't got no damn butterfly joints. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and cry to you because if I don't say nothing about this, it could very well be the following ultimate release as well. At least they incorporated the actual tattoos on the shoulder pieces. But where? is my butterfly joints. I don't see them. And you know what I do see is some laziness on the double. Look at this. So if you guys look outside, so apart from not getting the butterfly joints, 
We got the actual straps. Just paint it on, bro. And these ones are actually usually typically they're molded similar to the actual upper singlet. So Mattel, yeah, man, I don't know what the hell you're doing, but one thing that you shouldn't be doing is not giving us the butterfly joints. All right, I'll stop. At the end of the day, I want to see butterfly joints on Bianca Belair moving forward. If she's going to get released right there in the Ultimate Edition, I still got to give her a solid 8-6. I mean, yes, Butterfly would have been great, but at the end of the day, she didn't get the damn Kurt Angle tour. So give me your thoughts. Let me know what figure is your favorite. Are you going to hold off on some? Are you going to bring the almighty using discount code HERO? I appreciate you guys for stopping by and my ladies, and we'll see you, my friends, on the next one. Why? Oh, why, my team?